Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery of R32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo staying off of that marketplace subscribe button, as well as that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell, so you can be part of the A-gang, and that we can climb even higher, the 1400 ladder, getting so close to 1500. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Thank you all so much for the kind words, prayers, and just... Uh, kindness that you shared my way as I was down at Moffitt Cancer Center. I was out of town for a couple days getting some MRI scans done and stuff of all my tumors. I've talked about my uh, cancer diagnosis in the past. The tumors are still shrinking thanks to the oncology medication I'm on. Thank God uh, I would like to be around for a long time. But as my tumors shrink, the prices on cards only gets bigger. <laughs> so thank you all so much for all the kind words and prayers. I really do appreciate it. Um, I want to do a market watch today because there's really not much to talk about in the game right now. We're just kind of in a holding p pattern um, until we get a new list. Also, I've been playing Octopath Traveler all day on my Xbox because 60 frames is a lot nicer than 30. But you know what's not nice? $105 for Fiendsmith Engraver. I'm so glad that I pulled my whole Fiendsmith set um, out of my case. For those of y'all who didn't watch the live stream or haven't just watched the recording of my Infinite Forbidden case opening, oh my god, we pulled four engravers, one of them was a QCR, we pulled two Tractus, it was phenomenal. Um, you're looking at 109 actually, although this person has no feedback, so like 108, 109, kind of more like 110 now to be honest. These were hovering around like 98 to 100, they dropped down like 95 and now they're up, they're getting up there to 110 again. Um, they're at 110 for a very brief amount of time, but now it, it looks like that they're just starting to to go back up. Um, welcome, uh, welcome to this format, I guess. Two thirties on the QCRs. This was crazy. So the QCR Exodias were like 40 on launch, and they went as high as like almost 100. dollars They're like 98, 99. Now they're down to 78. If you wanted a QCR Exodia, you should have got in early. Um, all the other QCRs are like bare bones, 100 bucks, um, unless it's Silhouette. Rabbit, it's 89. Soul and Pride's only 50. Mole Chummy Secret Rares are 48. These things hit $60. If you don't have a place set of Mole Chummy Perulia, you need to get your set like five minutes ago, regardless of what a ban list is. If you want safe investments going into this next ban list, your best bet is to get things out of info because there's no shot in hell that they're going to hit anything out of Infinite Forbidden. They're not going to hit Fiendsmith stuff. They'll hit the stuff around Fiendsmith, i.e. Beatrice, uh, Wave High King. I'm not saying they're going to hit Wave High King, but just as an example. Um, out of my case, I pulled a third QCR, Dominus Purge. This is $43. Not bad, honestly. Like, I think they were as high as like 60, and now they've kind of hovered around at the 40s. It's not bad. Uh, 25 on the Estellars, 33 on a Z. This actually exploded. These were like in the 20s. I guess I should have got my other two while I had the chance. That's uh, that's rough, Sugar Boo Bear. Um, let's see what's on the next page here. Uh, the QCR Millennium Onks are only 25. If you want like a good like Exodia set of stuff out of this set. The QCRs minus the Incarnate aren't bad unless you got in early. Uh, the Ultra Rare Onks are sixes. Fiendsmith tracks are nine. That's low, like low. These were 12 to 13. If you don't have your tracks, get them now. Um, $8 on Purge, that's not bad. You should get a set of that. Um, $5 on the Secret Rare Onk, again, that's not bad. Fives on Genrokus, these were seven to eight. Uh, Akiza tokens are $6. These weren't on here before. Oh, but I think that they like... They're like some sort of special edition thing. I don't know. It's irrelevant. Uh, $2 on the Requiem. 6 on the Mimigold Dungeon. Dollars on regular incarnates. It's pretty much just dollars from there. I'm surprised that spell card Monster Born is a dollar. Um, it's actually not a bad card, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, that's info for you. Um, it's it's maintaining price as well. Next up here, I want to look at Snake Eyes stuff. Just kind of see where it's at. QCR OSSs are 25s. So this card's probably getting banned. Um, don't buy Snake Eyes stuff. Obviously, this stuff is going to get hit on a list. Um, it's just interesting to see where the prices are at. A dollar on OSS, uh, 20 on QCR Temples, three on Poplar, 56 on QCR, 25 QCR Flamberge. That is so low. Two dollars on regular secret rares. I mean, it, it really falls off from there. What's going on in Age of Overlord? The, the set that just keeps being expensive. Uh, 375 on Little Nights. Those things were 500. 180 on Agoth boxes. Holy balls, bro. 81 on Wanteds. 85s on Black Witch. Honestly, that's not a bad investment. Like, if you want to pick up QCR Black Witches, it's not a bad investment. Like, there's no way that this stuff's going to get hit. Look, 85. 85 a piece for a playset. I'd buy it. 
Like, especially, like, if you want to play White Force with the Azamina cards, Black Witch is only getting more support lore-wise. Black Witch is going to see play, and it does see play in the Azamina stuff. Um, specifically with, like, the White Force deck. Um, you can also, like, send one of the White Force spells or traps to summon this and then just reset it. Um, so it's a spellcaster, so you can still activate, like, say, Tales of the White Force. This isn't a bad investment. Um, Little Knights have dropped from 100 down to 55. They're getting reprinted in the 10s, so... Um, M cities are 21s. Uh, regular Black Witches are 16. So Sky Crisis is 17. That's actually not bad for a Sky Crisis. This set's really maintained value. I'm actually really impressed. Um, Rarity Collection 2. 40s on the uh, Designators. 28s on the Moonlit Chill. 28 on the Apo. Uh, 25 on DD Crows. Sealed uh, boxes, 82s. This set is kind of trash, to be honest. 14 on Underworld Goddess. QCR. Uh, 13 on the Judgments, 12s on the Skill Drains, um, Venomaze is 8s, uh, Drolls at 21. Just get the Platinum Secret Rare Hand Trap versions, because, like, they just, they look better. Eh, this, this set's kind of whatever, to be honest. I also want to look at Spooky Dogwoods, because everybody in the Mamas out here playing Spooky Dogwoods now, they're not expensive. 15 for Secrets from Dark Neo Storm, aka the Mystic Mindset. Uh, Lost Arts are fours. That's actually not a bad investment. Uh, and then you're looking as low as eight cents. This is just for one artwork. I'm not going to go through every single artwork. I mean, it's it's whatever. Uh, spooky Dogwoods are cheap. That's what matters. Especially when you combine it with Mole Charmy uh, Perulion, you draw into it. That's like what we saw in the finals of Euros. That was uh, hilarious. I didn't watch it, but I saw Capital G's video on it. Next up here, of course, I got to pull this up because your boy bought a PSA 8 off eBay. Uh, BLS, someone's been trying to sell one for $10,000 fucking dollars. This isn't going to sell. Um, right now, you could buy a PSA 8 for like 600 on eBay, I think I saw this morning, which made me feel bad because I think I paid, what, 650 650 around 700 after tax and all that, something like that. Um, you could always just pop it out of the uh, PSA casing and sell it. Um, but ungraded, they're going for like 1000 to 1100 now. So... I could always pop mine out of my PSA case and sell it for eleven hundred and move on with my day. Um, but it, this is a good investment. It's it's not going to be ten thousand dollars. Not for the foreseeable future. Maybe like another twenty five years. Yeah, maybe. Uh, speaking of which, nineteen hundred on the platinum blue eyes is. Uh, don't buy that. It's not worth it. Um, the dark magicians are sold out at sixteen hundred. I guess people are finally starting to move on those. A thousand on the alternative. Four hundred on uh, United's Tyruses are bought out. One hundred and forty on floodgates. Um, $100 on the Dark Magician Adidas exclusive. It's got the Adidas stamp on it. Um, the Egyptian God stainless steels are bought out, actually. But you can find these on eBay. Uh, ungraded English ones, I think, are about 1000 which is honestly nice on the investment. Of course, we've got to look at the uh, Kaiba set, because I look at this literally every day. Uh, it's just such a fun pastime. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through the history of where these have ranged. Basically, they were as low as 1100 and got as high as 1400 Now they're around 1350 for a sealed briefcase. If you got in on this, like I told you all to, um, th this was a good investment. $400 for a nice briefcase plus everything in it. This is only paid in dividends. Speaking of dividends, uh, this this is a hellhole. If you want to go down like a rabbit hole that turns into a hellhole, I mean, this, is, this has been insane to watch. So... 263 on the blue eyes. Uh, these dropped actually. Someone must have listed one for 200 because these were like 365. No, uh, 320. Yeah, so someone listed one for 200. And then after that, it goes back up to 320. But they're normally around like the 300 range, which has been crazy. Um, <clears throat> the exclusive cards, the, this has been hovering at 175. The attack guidance armor, someone listed one for 130. And before that, it was 145. 80 on Life Shaver, 55 on the Monster Born, $38 on fucking Grappler. Oh my god. Uh, 98 on Magical Trick Mirror. For those of y'all who are wondering, hey, Avery, why is this Grappler so expensive? Grappler was never released in the TCG. Um, obviously, it's a garbage card because it's just a level 4 vanilla. But it's a normal monster that you can only get out of this briefcase, and you cannot get this normal monster anywhere else, and it's been in the OCG for eons. So, that's why. Um, Wicked Worm Beast is $20. This card's garbage. 13 on Card of Demise. 9 on the Blue Eyes. Oh, these these were 20s. Okay, someone listed one for 18 <laughs> $18 for a negate attack. 24 on a Rude Kaiser. Bruh, 32 on the XYZ Dragon Cannon. This is just hilarious to watch. $30 on a fucking Soggy the Dark Clown. Like, th this is hilarious to me. So here, here's something cool with Battle Ox. Actually, um, specifically Enraged Battle Ox. I don't know if anyone has bought these out yet, but if you want to technically make good money, 
you could buy this out. Whereas it's specifically Invasion of Chaos, but it's the worldwide, yeah, I, I think it's IOC is what it is. Uh, maybe, no, that's not it. There's one that someone listed that is, I thought it was Invasion of Chaos, not the 25th anniversary. Worldwide English, this is it. So Invasion of Chaos, Worldwide English. There's only a few listings. And then you go to Light Play at $1,000. So if you want to be that guy, come through here, buy out all of the uh, Enraged Battle Oxes out of Worldwide English, and then it's just sitting at $1,000 for Light Play on TCG Player. Now, obviously, you can go to eBay and you can get this for like 2 to $5. But if you want to have some fun, because I'm not going to lie, I'm very tempted to pull the trigger on this too, you can make Enraged Battle Ox be $1,000. <laughs> Oh, man. Talk talk about a trip. Um, finally, as you know, in my market watches, I like to see, like, what's going on, like, on the top end of stuff. If you're looking at Cyber Dragon Dual Terminal 1700s, um, Apo Starlights are only $500. Remember when these things were 2000 That's a uh, light play Portuguese for 450 heavy play. So, yeah, near mint Portuguese 500 Is there an English on here? You're looking at 645 for light play. Remember when these things were $2,000. Pepperidge Farms remembers and even remembers where it sold the cookie. Sold it to your mama. Anyways, that's about it for today's market watch. Everything else seems not too much out of the ordinary. $100 on Kenobi, and that's nasty. 980 on Blue Eyes. There's one listing left. That got bought out. So yeah, go buy out Enraged Battle Ox and go have some fun. Guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.